You're watching Quad Cities Live. The longest running festival in Geneseo, Illinois is celebrating 56 years. We're talking about the music festival and it's set for Father's Day weekend. Zach Sullivan with the Chamber of Commerce joins us with those details. Zach, welcome back. Yeah, thanks Morgan. Always good stuff to talk about when uh, Geneseo was on the show. I mean, we just talked all about the farmer's market, right. which is fabulous. That's going to be part of the weekend um, because this is a three day event. It is huge. Yeah, the Geneseo Music Fest. I can't believe it's been 56 years already. <laughs> I know. And um, there's just three days of family fun planned. It's a cornucopia of free family entertainment. Oh, good word. From pony rides to a dunk tank, which is a booster for the wrestling boosters, to uh, kids playing in a band, Geneseo Panic, with musical memories. <laughs> uh, there's jazzercise. Um, there's parades, of course, queen pageant. So much classic Midwestern summertime festival fun packed into one weekend in Geneseo. Wow, that you just, I, you know what? We can wrap up the yeah, segment just there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you did a fabulous job because um, of describing really truly what this is. Um, there's a lot of professionalism when it comes to the musical acts that mm -hmm. you guys have planned, but there's a lot of that small town charm as well when you include um, the kids and, and the boosters and the pageants and the parades and all of that we're going to get to. Okay, so uh, the festival really does bring together a wide range of musical genres as well. So um, if you are specifically uh, taking part in this weekend um, to listen to the music, uh, which we don't blame you, uh, you're going to get all kinds. Yeah, we have a little bit of everything from um, jazz. You know, we'll have the Ron Tegler Jazz Organ Trio performing on um, Saturday evening at the Band Shell. Looking forward to that. We always yeah. like to have kind of a big band or a jazz type act at an ice cream social yeah. and so that's a lot of fun to have at the city park but we also have a lot of different bands playing all over Geneseo. Dueling Pianos will be on Friday at the Central Bank Pavilion oh, which wow. is a fundraiser for the Geneseo Police Department's impact program and Central Bank took the lead in putting that together and it's very generous of them to do that yeah. for the police department and then on Saturday we also have like uh, Sean Easton and his family will come up to perform. He's a local uh, employee of the city actually who plays really? guitar and his, his family is all musicians and they'll come up and play some songs. So That's really cool. It's, it's cool that it has that local touch to yeah. the event as well. Yeah, and you get to know, um, you know, different people's passions and, and things like that. That's very, very cool. Sure. And we also have like a uh, music fest featuring X Crush, and that's kind of your 90s and 2000s rock that'll be happening at the Moose Lodge on Saturday night. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Germ Theory <laughs> playing blues at Geneseo Brewing Company on Saturday. Um, Ryan Bazzari will be playing country on Sunday afternoon. So, yeah. so much going on. There's a ton going on. Okay. There's a, a big craft fair. That's a huge part yes. of the weekend. Um, so, local vendors are going to get to showcase items in that craft fair. Correct. Yeah, we have over 60 vendors lined up, and oh, wow. you know when you combine that with the Geneseo Farmers Market that's yeah. also there, you're talking about over 100 vendors at the city that's park this weekend. A lot of shopping. Weekend. So this is a huge event, and I mean we're very appreciative of Jill and the Farmers Market for partnering with us at the Geneseo Chamber, as opposed to maybe two rival fairs. We combine into one, so we Good. offer one big better event to everyone attending. That's great. Um, something new this year: uh, the Little Miss Music Fest pageant. So you guys have a queen pageant typically mm -hmm. every year, but you're involving some some younger kiddos this year. Yeah. So we had a programming gap uh, come up a few years ago. We used to work with the uh, Little Miss Henry County Fair. Oh. Contestants, okay. uh, but when the pandemic happened, uh, everyone had to kind of shift what they were doing, mm -hmm. and they found a fundraiser that really works for them. But they can't commit to our event now as a result. And we appreciate all their service, and their fair is going to be awesome, and we'll be promoting that and the Geneseo Chamber uh, when that comes up. But that still left a programming gap for us at the music festival, so we decided to start a Little Miss Music Festival Aww. contestant. But it's a, it's a little bit older of an age demographic, so that way there's no direct competition with Henry County. Sure. And um, it's something that um, there's been a lot of interest in. We're going to have 20 contestants, I believe, in that pageant. That's great. And um, I just love the response and really appreciate like Kristen Grinnell and Ashley Moore, uh, two local moms who took the lead on this to make it a reality for our music festival. Yeah, that's fabulous. Um, and then uh, finally, uh, Father's Day. Okay, so this is going to be going on during Father's Day. You have a couple of really cool events. You have a breakfast event, and there's a parade that's uh, really popular for people. Yeah, the Father's Day fly-in breakfast at Gen Air Park is one of the most popular parts of the entire music festival. Why not take Dad out to breakfast, a hearty breakfast around a bunch of cool planes? Yeah. And then starting <laughs> at 1 o'clock is the ever-so-popular Father's Day parade. I mean, it is a huge parade. It goes from the high school to the city park. It's a one-mile route. 
and thousands of people just line the streets uh, to get candy or even participate and march in the parade. We'll have marching bands. We'll have some animals in the parade. Last year, there were goats that were dressed in costumes. Wow. And I think we're going to have them back. You guys got it all. You, you truly do. Um, and, uh, of course, there's also going to be uh, tons of stuff for the little kiddos to do. You guys have carnival games and things like that. I mean, you haven't missed a beat, that is for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great event. I mean, this event has existed my entire life. And right now, Geneseo is jumping. All of our events are going pretty well. And um, we have a great music festival planned in 2024. Yeah, lots to be proud of. Well, the Geneseo Music Festival uh, runs from Friday, June 14th through Father's Day, Sunday, June 16th. It is free to attend. There's a jam-packed schedule of events and activities. Uh, to learn more, because we really just got to a fraction of it uh, here today, visit Geneseo.org. As always, Zach, thank you so much for coming on. You're, you're just you're uh, a big proponent there for Geneseo, and I'm sure everybody appreciates it. Thank you so much, Morgan. Yes, appreciate it. Of course. It.